Hey, Steve Sullivan here, Training Supervisor at Rital North America. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a door from a standard TS-8 and how to reverse the hinging from the standard right-hand hinge to the left-hand hinge. So let's get going. For this task, all you really need is a flat blade screwdriver and you've got four hinge bodies on this side. Now, I would leave the top hinge body engaged. Let that take the weight of the door Start at one of the further hinges down and work down that way. All you really need to do is take your flat blade, find the groove in the hinge pin, and just pry up real easily. You can do this all the way down. I'm going to show you a really cool tool. This is a 2415.100. On one end you have a hinge puller, and on the other side this fits into your door, and you can lift this up and take your door away. Great accessory. Okay, so now we've got four hinges on this side, we've got four catches on this side. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to reverse those. So for each of the four hinge bodies, on my right hand side currently. You'll notice there's the T30 screw. All I need to do is take that out. Do that for each hinge body. Now do the same thing for the catches on the left side. And do all four. The hinges and catches are actually stamped with an R and L to help you orient the part. If you're working on the left side, you want to be able to read the L. If you're on the right side, you want to flip it over so that the R is legible. So in this picture, I'm on the left side, the L is legible, the R is upside down. So to place the hinge or the catch on the frame, again, we want to make sure that since I'm making this left hand hinged, that I can see the L, and then I'm going to use that hole. So just line the holes up take my T30 fastener. There we go. Now we've got our hinge on. I'm going to do that three more times and then I'll go to the other side of the frame and do the catches. Now on your TS-8 frame, regardless of the size, whether it's 1400 tall to 2200 millimeters tall, the vertical profile only has seven holes. Four of those are going to be used for hinges or catches, the other three would be for sidewalls or maybe bang hardware. So what you want to do is you want to start at the outside, furthest most points, put your hinge or your catch, skip a hole, put a hinge or catch, and that leaves one in the middle, that takes care of your seven. This is clear in the instructions, but most people don't read them, and that's why you're watching the video right now. So we're on the right side with the catches, and since we're on the right side, we want to be able to read the R for right, L for left, because actually it'll fit both ways in the groove. So to make sure that you have this done properly, again, right side, I'm going to work with the R, Simply put it up to the hole. Now, within the slot, it really doesn't matter. There's some adjustability in there, maybe for heavy loads on the door, but within that slot, it doesn't matter. Just utilize the bottom hole of the two hole patterns there. The original lock and unlock for the TS-8 is counterclockwise would unlock, clockwise would lock. 
since I've reversed my door, it's also changed that motion to the opposite. If you want to change that back to the original, then we have to take this off and raise the pin position to the upper pin position. To understand what I'm talking about and to see how this is done, look at my video for changing out the standard lock with a comfort handle.